quick shot. A swirl in a circle of which in the circle of the eternity as existence and prostration. A six is in prostration, a nine is prostration. Because they bow down. You do a swirl, it bows down. When you curl, it bows down. When I was born, I was bowed down, I was curled, I was in a swirl of eternal bliss. And bow, that's what became existing. Where I'm conscious. And it just come. Omar Hosea. The real was able to cleanse my soul. You know, most I gave me a chance to share my story around here in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, how I got here. What I've been through this, this first year. And uh, fear of conquering, you know. And so, by the grace of the Most High, to come and understand what it means to bow. Understand why we bow. So when it swirls, you naturally rise up. <clears throat> so make sure you bow on your way up in life. Look at it. Ooh, that's what makes you dizzy, right? Because it's spiraling. And they tell you that spiral means you're dizzy. No. Spiral in a stable time leaves a stable mind to unwind to grow. Unwind. If I curl, I'm protecting myself from a curl. Ooh, uh, ooh. So when I unwind or untwine or come on, that curl, what is that called? Untwine. I'm wrapped. It's a mission prior to my existence. I was heavy. You know, I'm giving it to you like you're giving it to me right now. You know, that's the truth. For some of you spiritualists, you know, be careful. Not to uh, bend space and time. Be careful not to uh, put your emotions in space and time. Because you'll find out what they say no man knows, but we know. You'll find out that it was never about you. You just so happen to be in the way. Because of your own desires. That's where that moment comes in when you say, Damn, something told me to. That's that scratching the head comes from. You know, like. You know, I had daddy play, I just had a moment like that where uh, 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 one of my visions, and they were. Two visions. Um, that about the white horse, and I forgot some things, you know, because it was like I didn't want nobody to associate with doom and cause fear, because that would not be true. And somebody would spread that untruth, so I had to, you know, I left some parts out, and so I put in another one with the. You know the truth. I don't know what the not omitting of the truth or the forbearance of the truth. 
but remembering that when it's when it's not the whole thing, you don't necessarily have to be alive because you're not willing to change it to to prosper or gain and for your personal pleasure. That's where that becomes negative. But the positive is for the sake of that time and space would be cause somebody somewhere a problem and pass out that the pale host writer is here and that's who the little Korean guy is when that's I'm not saying that. I don't want um, my North Korean friends mad at me because those people are mad at them. I mean, I'm mad at them. I'm not saying that I'm a columnist that I support or I do support. Hell, I don't support right or wrong. I stand up on the truth like this. Not like this. No, I don't do it with the truth like this. Ah, bro, fear, boo, ah. Ah, I'm gonna be like that with fear, I and mean, with truth. I'm gonna be like this with truth, upholding it. That's why we pray with our hands up. Don't we'll take my word for it to your spirit, your logic. You know what they call that? The third eye. You know, uh, you know the third eye. Yeah. 